More than 42,000 New Jersey residents will get refunds from their health insurers this summer. Obamacare is holding big health insurance companies to the 80-20 rule. They're required to spend 80% of the premiums we pay them on direct patient care. If they spend too much on profits or red tape or executive salaries, they have to refund the money. Health and Human Services Secretary Sylvia Burwell says the refunds will average about $142. Joining us is the acting regional director of HHS, Dennis Gonzalez. Thank you so much for being with us, Mr. Gonzalez. Thank you for having me. Is the law meeting expectations in New Jersey? Oh, yes, absolutely. Uh, we want to uh, enroll more people in New Jersey, obviously, uh, but we did very well in the first enrollment period. Uh, we enrolled over 160,000 uh, New Jerseyans, which far exceeded our expectations. Um, New Jersey has a lot of people who are uninsured, so Still. we yeah, absolutely. So you know we have a lot of work ahead of us, but we're we're very pleased with, with what we've been able to do so far. Is part of that the expansion of Medicaid? No, the uh, 160,000 plus is just a marketplace. Uh, the Medicaid expansion numbers are close to 200,000. Uh, so altogether, we've had uh, about 360,000 people in New Jersey who previously didn't have insurance now have health insurance coverage thanks to the Affordable Care Act. And the window reopens? Uh, the, the next enrollment period starts November 15th. Uh, the previous enrollment period ended March 31st. Right. So this transitional period is what we call the special enrollment period. New Jersey did not set up its own exchanges like 35 other states. It sends people looking for insurance coverage to the federal exchange. Is that a problem? No, not at all. Uh, you know, we've been able, uh, states were given the option of choosing to either set up their own uh, marketplace or let us, HHS, run it. Uh, and New Jersey chose to let us do it. And we've been, you know, we've been doing the work. Uh, and, uh, you know, the consumers, don't see any difference whether they live in New York, which is state-based, or New Jersey, which is federally facilitated. The consumer doesn't see a difference. The, the difference is at our level where we have to run it in New Jersey. There were two completing uh, judicial rulings um, in regarding federal subsidies. Now, I know that you can't speak to those directly, uh, but is there anything you can say to assure people who are concerned about losing their subsidies? Oh, absolutely. Uh, consumers in New Jersey who currently receive the uh, premium tax credit or the subsidy uh, need not worry about these uh, court rulings. The fact is that the premium tax credit uh, the subsidy uh, is available and it will continue to be available to New Jersey consumers. What's the biggest challenge you've got going forward? Well, it's educating the public and making them know that, uh, the, that the marketplace provides them with affordable, quality health care uh, and that they should enroll. Uh, and, They're and hearing a lot of competing claims that it's a bad deal or that they can't, or they can't use their own doctors? Well, that's part of the challenge, is the misinformation out there. And that's why we need to go out there, uh, HHS, along with all our partners, our community partners, uh, and educate the public, educate consumers that this is a good thing, and that if they don't have health insurance coverage, they can get it uh, through the, the marketplace. Uh, and so we look forward. We did that uh, during the last uh, enrollment period, and we look forward to doing that in the next enrollment period. And may I add, if I, if I may, uh, that uh, individuals who had health insurance coverage as of March 31st and since has lost it, whether it be because they had coverage from their employer and they've lost their job, or if they were married and got divorced and no longer have coverage from their spouse, uh, and, 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 and other circumstances, they're able to enroll during the special enrollment period. They can go to healthcare.gov, which is our website, or call the 800 number, which is 800-318-2596. Dennis Gonzalez, thank you for being with us. Well, thank you for having me.